welcome back to the second tutorial for the Netgear Air Card Smart Cradle. Uh, in this particular tutorial, um, what I'll be demonstrating is how to reset the Smart Cradle back to factory default. Um, and the reasons you would do this is if uh, you've forgotten your admin login details, uh, you've forgotten your passphrase maybe because you've modified it um, or for some reason you can't access the smart cradles uh, LAN via the Ethernet ports at the back. So basically back of the cradle there's a reset hole and you just get a pen or uh, a pin and you need to push the, the button within that reset hole. So I'll turn it around whilst I'm doing the reset. So at the moment I'm actually going to push the reset button and you should see all the lights on the smart cradle start to flash. Once you see the power LED flashing orange, stop pressing the reset button and it should go through the reset process. That should take about 30 seconds for it to completely reset. Once it's reset, the cradle will also go through a reboot. Now, the way to tell that the cradle has actually been reset successfully is you'll see that the power LED, again, will be a solid green. Internet LED will be a solid green. The two WLAN LEDs will be solid green. And on the LCD of the mobile hotspot, you'll see the message indicating that uh, the mobile hotspot's Wi-Fi has been disabled and you need to use the Cradle's Wi-Fi as well as a little Cradle icon in the corner there close to the uh, battery percentage. So now the Netgear Aircard Smart Cradle has been reset back to factory defaults. Uh, in this particular video tutorial I will demonstrate how to factory reset your Cradle using the web user interface. Um, the first thing you need to do is actually log in to the Smart Cradle either via the WLAN connection or plug the Ethernet cable into the back of the Smart Cradle. Uh, you would then need to open up your preferred web, web browser um, and in the address bar you need to type in 192.168.100.1 or netgear.cradle. Um, it will then prompt you for your admin username and admin password. 
uh, if you have modified your admin username, admin password and have forgotten this information, the only way around it is to actually reset by the reset hole. Um, so if you watch the video tutorial number two, uh, that will explain how to do it by the reset hole. So the default login details are located on the Smart Cradle underneath uh, on a label. Uh, so that's default admin login details. Uh, it will be located under the Smart Cradle on the label. So once you've logged in, click on Advanced. Click on Administration. Click on Backup Settings. And then click on Erase. You'll then see the message here indicating you're about to factory reset the unit. You need to click on Yes. And then give it a minute or so. And you should see the Cradle reboot and reset back to factory defaults. Once it's completed, you'll be placed back onto the web user interface. That's the conclusion of this particular video tutorial. Hope it was useful. Thanks again for watching.